Floss Tube. Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Chris. I'm Jane. And we're the Floss Stitchers. Thanks for joining us today. It's not the 11th hour, but it's the <laughs> 11th day of the 11th month. Yes. So a happy <laughs> Veterans Day. <laughs> Um, let's see. This did I already say it's episode 98? No, you didn't. Well, what, it wow, is. It's, it is. We're, 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 we're right getting up there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's been another sort of balmy day in Boston, it was or at least scary. it's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's going to be warm again. Really? Yeah, yeah, but then it's yeah. going to start cooling off. Bound to happen, yeah, isn't it? it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. But it was a really well, nice day. I hope everyone in the fire prone areas is, is doing okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's been a lot, a lot of, yeah. going on. We've yeah. been very dry here. Yes, too, it is. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what have you been up to? Oh, let's see. Um, well, today I took my niece into Boston. Oh, I have never fun. seen, she's um, about four and a half, and I have never seen someone who's been, who is more excited to ride public transportation. <laughs> she's Especially the T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's been, she's been wanting to ride the bus, wanting to ride the bus. So we had her this weekend and um, today um, she was off from school. So, uh, so she stayed at our house uh, Saturday night and Sunday night and yeah, so we said, okay, well, you know, you want to ride the bus? Oh, my God. As soon as the bus started coming down the street, and she was, like, started jumping up and down. I mean, she was just, it was hilarious. It was really hilarious. Well, that gave the other riders something positive. That's right. Focus on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, she didn't care if it was running on yeah, time or not, no, did she? No, so we had a really good day, and I just got back from Universal Studios, yeah. went there with my uh, sister and my uh, godson nice. and my husband, and yeah, we had a really fun time. Uh, I think <laughs> Universal Studios is a little bit too much for me, though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> thank God <laughs> how he was there, right? <laughs> yeah, he went on a lot of rides with my godson. <laughs> Uh, but it's, the, it's all like the, um, the simulations, oh, you know, yeah, and I can, yeah. I can do the simulation, but not when it's like the, I think it's called the 4D, like when you're oh, sitting in the car okay. and watching the screen and then like, oh, the uh, yeah, yeah, I can't. That's 1D too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um but I went on a lot of things. Yeah. I have to yeah. say I went on a lot of things yeah. and um yeah. And the weather was, was nice. Right? The weather was really yeah. nice. Yeah, we only yeah. really had um a little bit of rain one of the days. That's good. Uh, Do you stay so at the park? Was, uh, we stayed at a Universal oh, Studios that's fun. hotel. Yeah. 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 Um so yeah, we had yeah, we had a lot of fun. That's great. Yeah. So uh what about you? What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Hmm think anything particularly much no. but um i've got some stitch days oh yeah yeah oh we went to grafton we did we went to the we threaded to, needle yeah with alice mm -hmm. um a hosted by alice yeah and that was a full house there it was yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. um yeah. we met a lot of nice stitchers there mm -hmm. of course mm -hmm. and alice has a oh, beautiful uh she had trunk show going on one or yep. two right yes yeah and she really has nice. beautiful models yeah alice is one of those people we think she probably never sleeps mm -hmm. right yeah yeah <laughs> 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 yeah, she's got yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. And we were asked uh, for our <laughs> our first autograph. <laughs> Probably asked for our yeah, last yeah, autograph right, as right, well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, oh, yeah, Meredith um, asked for our autograph. And I was like, "Oh, come on!" And she's like, "No, really, really." So yeah, so she got her auto her autograph, and uh, I'll um, I'm gonna put a picture of her, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> and then um, we met um, we met a lot of people, yeah. but um, we have a new friend, Andrea, who uh, yes. I will also put a picture in. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was a it was a really fun um, fun evening. Yeah, yeah, she so, does that once yeah. a month, which yeah. is good. Yeah, and then I went to Randy's. Um, mm. Yeah, so I saw um, they, she had a full house too, mm. and a lot of those folks will be at the farm. But oh. we'll we'll save that talk for later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. That All was right. good. All right. You want to throw out the first stitch? I might as well. Okay. <laughs> I won't have much to say. The floor is yours. <laughs> well, excuse the needle in this one. But this is tartan stag. And luckily, you kind of get a good idea at this point, I think, of what the finished product would look like. Because mm -hmm. I unfortunately don't have a picture to show you. It's from one of the cross-stitch Christmas books. And this won't surprise long-time viewers, <laughs> but I've done this before. <laughs> I did it years ago for my assistant at work. And had it framed, and my husband loved it. And he kept saying, don't give that away. So I did, and now years later, I am I just was going through my stuff one day, and I saw my working copy of this. So I picked it up, and, you know, as you can tell, it's a pretty quick stitch. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a fun one to do. And I know I would never have given away one of those cross-stitch Christmas books I've got. Not every year, but I've got a bunch of them. But um, we still have those books packed away from when we painted the house several months ago. So I've still got some of those to go through, and I'm sure it will surface. Yeah. But this uh, works in the meantime. So mm -hmm. famous last words, but well, actually, I expect I'll finish this at the farm. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And... I'm embarrassed to say that's it. Yeah, well, you almost got it done, I'm, though. I mean, yeah, that's I a lot of stitching. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. All right. I'll take I'm going to let you then. off. The Thank hook. you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Because <laughs> you've got kind of an intimidating stack over there. Well, you know? I did some plain, you know, yeah. airplane stitching. Okay. And, yeah. So, um, I've been doing an ornament for my niece um, since she was born, and this will be number five. And this is Fishing Penguin um, <laughs> from the Winter Holiday Collection uh, Mill Hill Kit. And I've decided not to use the um, perforated paper, but I'm going to stitch it, um, I am stitching it on a, um, on fabric. And it doesn't really matter though because it's full coverage anyway. But I wanted it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the color is, but um, and I don't Good really. Choice, I can't remember what the, this color is, uh, but anyway, it's. Um, I think it's a. I think it's a thirty-two count, so it'll be nice and small. And it looks like it might be one of those uh, hand dyed by Jim. Or one of yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, could be. Yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's a 32. So I ho I'm hoping I'm going to have enough room to put the beads on. Oh, oh well, I bet you will. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. So uh, that if one. not, it'll be finished even sooner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I have to get going on because I need to, uh, I need to. I need to give it to our finisher so that yeah. it can be done for uh, for Christmas. Uh, and then um, for my small um, for November, um, I'm uh, two. I'm doing two smalls. I'm starting two smalls a month for 2024. And the one I picked for November 1st was Harper's Forest. Uh, this is a pedal pusher design. And I'm so jealous because I, I've i got that and I've loved it for so long. I don't know why I haven't started it. Well, maybe you should. Maybe you have to sell. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not too far. By I'm, 103. Yeah. I'm not too far along. Okay. Um, and it is all called for DMC. Uh, I decided to use overdyes for mm -hmm. all of the trees. So I just picked a um, like a burgundy and a red and a yellow and an orange. So um, yeah, those these, are terrific. these are my colors. Yeah. So I just, uh, yeah, I just chose 
um, most of them are um, some color and cotton. Mm. So, snap What's that other one. Snapdragon and carving pumpkin, and then this one is carmine. Mm -hmm. Those are color and cotton. Red. And then this is honeysuckle from Weeks. And then this one um, we got uh, in our, um, I believe it was our swag bag from uh, Stitch North. This is hand dyed oh. by Rolanda. Oh, I think you're right. And this is called Ruby Whisper. Yeah. So this is the dark red that I That's chose. That's a beautiful shade. Yeah. Yeah. So, some nice variegation That's in it. That's lovely. So, and now I'll show you. I haven't made much progress. Well, it's a start. It's a start. I've started doing some of the trees. What's that fabric? This is um, a uh, silk weaver fabrics, and um, it is called Autumn Sunrise. Appropriate. And it is a 32 count Lugana. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I have a lot. Uh, <laughs> You'll be seeing more so, of this. Yeah, so I uh, <laughs> I haven't cut it yet, obviously. Uh, but I thought this might look pretty good. Yes. So nice there choices. we go. That's the that's the November start. Then I have to go back and um, finish up on a couple of. Yeah, others. I haven't really. I was going to do the. Smalls Saturday and Sunday. Oh, you know, and I, just I do work, remember that. Just talk just now. work on smalls, yeah. and um, I haven't really done it yet because I've been away yeah, I've so much. Stitch, so stitch on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harley said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this one, I think you made some good progress on. I have. So yeah. this is Halloween this way. And um, I'm stitching this on the um, call for fabric. It's the 30 count dark spell. And it is um, actually the um, primitive hair fabric. And so what I what I did on the plane and um, kind of in the evening um, at Universal, was I finished the dead end sign. And that was all fill in with- yeah, um, Just what you wanted. Yeah, with um, witching hour. Great. Yeah. So now I have three signs completely, completely and, and done. And you got the hard work done on the others for the most part, right? For the most part. Yeah. So, well, so this, the top sign Salem, um, I filled in everything that um, I need to except for one color. So then I'll go on that. This is this is, is going to say Sleepy Hollow. I just have to put in the words. And then the other two, um, Flying School with a few little doodads in there. And then this last one here, it says Sanderson House. And, you know, that's obviously a nod to um, Hocus Pocus, but I'm going to change that to Sylvester House. <laughs> so I just I have like to, better. I just have to figure out um, the charting of that. Um, and then the last pieces of this is you can see that there are some other motifs. You have a pumpkin here and a candle and some skulls. So I'll have to put those in, but it's, it's coming along. It is. But it's all That's going to be hanging it by is, next thing. It is a, um, so Halloween. much fill in. I think I'll probably. That's a lot of stitching on that. I think I'll probably work on it at the farm though, because it's, yeah. it's just one color and you just. Keep going. Keep on. Yeah. Going. Get a lot of talking done with yeah. something like that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing I worked on, and I was in a bit of a Halloween mood. Uh, um, I worked on, this is Serenita di Campania, and it's called Halloween. And this was uh, gifted to me by my friend Tracy. 
So the chart, and she also um, gifted me all of the DMC. And this is a mystery fabric that I have. Um, I do know it is a 32 count Lugana. And so that middle house there, I've got quite a bit done on it. Yeah, you do. So the house is almost done and I started going down into the little witch here. And this is, um, this is, this was fun. This is a fun stitch. Um, and this is 197 by 77. Okay. So I just have that much more to go. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good start though. Yeah. Yeah. I only had like, I had the, just the smallest uh, of starts because yeah, I yeah. wanted to start at last Halloween and do you think I picked it up at all <laughs> during the year? No. There it was, just yep. waiting for you. Yep. And it's so cute that I wanted to do more on it. Yeah. So I did. Oh, and this, this is my, this is my oh, that's spooky. weaving bag. Yeah. By, uh, my friend Janet made this for me. Oh, I love that with the ravens. Yeah. 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 And the finishes? No. You? No. <laughs> FFOs? No. no. All right. But I do want to I do want to mention one thing. All so right. the um the eat cake and the mm -hmm. the uh finish that I showed last time with all of the um dessert um and fast food motifs. Uh there were a couple of charts that I didn't have with me and I just wanted to show you so that on that um, piece there were I did two chocolates and I just wanted to show you that um, this was all dolled up and um, by Little House Needleworks and it's called Chocolate Box hmm. and so I picked a couple of chocolates um, which ones I picked now I think I might have picked this one and uh, I think I did the I might have done the, the heart. I forget now. But anyway, this mm -hmm. I just picked a couple of chocolates, and that's what I used um, for a couple of the motifs. And then this is um, Tiny Modernist Bake the World a Better Place. And uh, for this one, I used the pie, and I used the chocolate chip cookies. So... I took a bunch of motifs from a bunch of different people yeah, you and, and sure a bunch of different designers. And, yeah. Well, well, good and well. I'm not sure. Well, <laughs> you did it. I did it. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Um, well, I have a little bit of haul. Should I? Well, Move first, yeah, first I think we should okay. do, oh, yeah, we should, itchy kindness. Yes, oh. yes, it's a random act of kindness yes. from our, our friend Jeannie. And uh, so Jeannie mailed these to me probably about a month ago now. And I last time we Thanks, filmed, Jeannie, I'm just getting it. <laughs> yeah, last month I forgot <laughs> to bring this to Chris, but I brought it today and we each got Jeannie This Gable. is a terrific needle liner. Yeah, when well, we went to Color and Cotton. And um, Jeannie, Jeannie us. as if you didn't do enough for us. Yeah, I yeah. know. But Showing says, us the city. Yeah. Taking us to, to see a Clydesdale. Yeah, the yeah. Clydesdales. That was great. Yeah. Taking us to Color and Cotton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is a really nice um, uh, souvenir because it yes. says Color and Cotton on there and it says St. Louis, uh, Missouri. Louis, Missouri. So thank you very much, thank Jeannie. You. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, okay, now you can do your haul. All right. It's going to be short and sweet. <laughs> I picked up this December basket. It's um, cost for the rising. Sorry for a bit of glare there. And this was when Jane and I went to Alice's at the Threaded Needle. 
last Sunday evening. And nice. I, I think I bought a, a Cosford Rising in that color and cotton when we were there too, but I haven't done that one yet. So I have a couple of theirs too, and to I haven't. That. Yeah, yeah, I haven't started oh, them. Plus, um, I don't know how well you can probably can't see it too well, but she does a great stitch on this basket in the middle um, to make it look like it's really um, oh, like woven. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word mm -hmm. I was going for. Yeah, yeah. So I'm really anxious to try that. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I have a few things. All right. Okay. So. Oh, we need the board. Oh, we need the board. All right. Do we have it? Yeah, we do. All right. So the last time we. Let me step back into the studio. Okay. <laughs> Where's our producer? Our producer has, didn't get our board out for us. <laughs> So uh, the last uh, time we uh, met, I had gotten my October um, Color and Cotton um, Floss of the Month um, skeins, but forgot. I forgot to bring them. So I'm going to show them to you now. All right. So this is uh, Drosselmeyer. And was he the professor he, that yeah. gave the nutcracker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Santa's boots. And Looks like they have some soot on them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> then we have a uh, blue whale. Ooh. That's a nice blue. Yeah, that sure is. And zucchini. <laughs> You should know. You threw a lot of those this year. I, I did. I I wish I had um, gotten a better harvest, but and then but the rabbits made up. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and garnet. That's a beautiful red. And then we have Yale. I didn't go, so I don't know. I don't know, yeah. There. Yeah, and then um, Juju. Oh. That's a new one to me. I think that's how you say Juju. it. Juju. Wintertide. And Mulberry. And finally... Lavender gray. Oh. Well, All right. Another good lineup. It is. So let's sweep these away. All right. Because, Move it on to November. Because, yes, because I got my November one too. <laughs> so I think October almost has more of a Christmas theme to it, don't you think, than November? Yeah, well, maybe they did that so that people could start Get their... Get started, start yeah. Their, you know, like you and I have. Right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, first we have... Oh. Go ahead. Oh, okay. We have Adagio. And River Stones. Garden Sage, Driftwood, and finally, it's pretty, pretty true to, to what Driftwood looks yeah. like, and then finally Moat. Moat? Yeah. Ooh. And then the second uh, grouping is Grove, and Autumn Blaze. Ooh. Old Gold and Seaside. Ooh. And finally in this group, Eventide. Eventide. Eventide? Eventide, Eventide. I think. Okay. All right. All right. We'll go with that. So another nice grouping. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
I have a lot of floss. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to do something about that. <laughs> Hard as, decision when you go through to pick them, huh? I know. As uh, <laughs> as Randy says, stitch faster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I got my, as part of October, I get uh, color and cotton fabric every other month. And um, I get a 32 count linen. And um, this I love. October's was uh, Glacier. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah and that's, that looks pretty true. Yeah. yeah. So, that's very nice. Yes, that was a good one. And then Chris and I belong to the um, Fabric of the Quarter with. Um, uh, barefoot needle art and this the last uh, fabric we got was called uh, seaweed mm. and that is, this mm, is what yeah. that looks like yeah. so very a very pretty fabric yes feels it good too yeah yeah they do a nice job yeah not sure what i'll do with it but it is beautiful yep um I get a 32 count even weave uh, from Barefoot Needle Art. And they always send a yeah. I was looking at that though, and I don't think I'm I'm with that up. No, so they all they send a um a drink recipe with uh, all of their floss. So that was this is uh fun to look at anyway. It is fun to look yeah. at, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should try it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Then, um, so what I got at uh, the Threaded Needle was a chart that I thought was just so cute. This is called Death Floof. And um, it's by the uh, Stitch Crypt. And um, I just wanted to, so I looked up to see what a floof was. Yeah. And a floof is an affectionate term for an animal, especially a dog or cat, with soft, fluffy fur or hair. Could that be Chester? It could, <laughs> could be. <laughs> Any soft, downy substance, especially an animal's soft, fluffy fur or hair. Ah, so this is a floof. This is a little floof. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> even though he's, even though he's like the, the, uh, yeah, the kiss of death. <laughs> the kiss of death. <laughs> but look at that face. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> is cute. Yeah, I, I thought he was very cute. creative on that part. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got this book. Oh, this is um, America, America the Beautiful Cross Stitch, and um, my friend, um, my friend Janet and her husband uh, Len and my husband and I went to um, the national parks and we went to Moab, and we went from there. We went to Arches and Canyonlands, and there just happened to be a <laughs> stitch store. Well, it was um, really? well, it was um, more of a fabric store. Okay. Um, but uh, we saw it, and by the time um, I got to go in, uh, they were closed that day. So. My good friend Janet went in oh. for me, and uh, she asked me, you know, she said she saw this book, and um, did I want it? And of course I want yes. it. So it is called um, Simply Moab. I'll put the uh, information uh, of, of the store in the description box. But um, this... Oh, this is a lucky find. This has... Um, 30 of America's most iconic national parks and monuments. Wow. So, I mean, it's a beautiful, yeah. it's a beautifully illustrated book. Oh, and, my daughter just flew home from the Grand Canyon Oh yeah, Sunday. Yeah. I mean, like it's got, yeah, it's got really beautiful, yeah. um, beautiful pictures in there. 
Um, and then it has the uh, cross stitch um, that go along with the uh, the National the Park. Boston so the, is in there. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Boston Light. And let me see if I can. So, like, this is Delicate Arch. Um, Not so the that's one that the, fell down. That's is it? the most, no, this is the most famous one in arches. Uh, okay. But anyway, so it's a it's a really nice. Uh, let me see if uh, I think at the front there were a couple of others. Here we go. So, yeah. yeah. So I looked this up to see, um, you know, how readily available it is, and it's it is widely available. Um, so you can, um, if you're interested, you know, it, it is a it's a it's a like I said, yeah, it's a lot beautifully in illustrated there. and yeah. yeah. So okay, all right, very nice. And then my final um, find is occasionally I'll look on eBay for Elsa Williams kits because I am a collector. And I saw this one, Seafarer Sampler, that I have never seen before. No. Perfect condition, too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. So I had to get this one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah, that is very nice. Okay. All right, that is the end of my haul. I think that moves us along to plans. Yes. Uh, so I would like to thank yes. um, a, one of our viewers, Patty, who um, when we spoke of the Sal that we want to do, um, this is, uh, what's it called? Humble, I think it's called Humble Stable. Um, I've already forgotten. Oh, come on. Did you need a page before? No. Let's see. Did they name patents back then? It, <laughs> they did. <laughs> And I know it's here. <laughs> maybe um, is there a um, but table of contents? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, give us a week and we'll anyway, figure it out. <laughs> anyway, this is a sale that um, I've I've wanted to do this chart for a very long time, and um, uh, decided that this December is the time. So. Um, <laughs> We're going to start a sale, and I asked people um, if they wanted to join, um, let me know, and I can send them a copy of the um, the chart. I have a number of these uh, magazines uh, because usually when I go um, looking um, at a freebie table and I see this, I'll pick it up, <laughs> thinking that at some point I was going to do a sale. So when I was talking about this, um, Patty from Illinois um, wrote and said that she had a number of copies and that she would be willing to um, send them to us. So this is a nice, a really cute card. Um, so thank you, Patty. And she sent us um, the charts. And uh, as I was saying to people, if you would like to join, just email us and I will mail you a copy of the chart. I won't mail the magazine, I'll just rip out the chart and mail it to you. Um, and Patty had a number of those charts, so she sent me um, some copies. So, uh, and she also sent uh, mm -hmm. this uh, Leisure Arts Christmas Gentleman. So, that's, I'm sure we'll have fun with that. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All those little Santas. They have a uh, prairie schooler kind of look to them. Oh, God. How many times do <laughs> you have to stitch these? <laughs> You're already thinking, oh, no. Now, I can't okay. swear that this is the name of this, yep. but in the description, it says that um, creatures great and small celebrate the first Christmas. Okay. So. All right. 
and I can never let this go. <laughs> <laughs> I am just dying to write to them and get all 324 colors of DMC for $25. Yeah. Oh, for the good old you, days. You let me know how that goes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I'll order two. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so that's that. If you'd like to participate in the sale, we're going to start December 1st, and um, I'll be happy to uh, send you a copy. And then... How's your boss me board going? <laughs> well, you know, I've been busy. You have. Uh, you have. I've been, yeah. I've been really busy, but yeah. I... Um, I I do have a I do have a bingo, um, the top row, but uh, I'm not sure that I do yet. I could have a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, had, yeah. But um, I think that so let's see. So Chris and I actually uh, this coming week are going to the farm. One of um, our favorite annual events. Right. So um, it's called Stitch In at the Farm. And it is the East Hill Farm in Troy, Troy New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, and well, we're uh, fed like farm hands. That's right. Three yes. meals, three full meals plus snacks available yeah. <laughs> on demand. Right. <laughs> All the live long day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, very fun event. Um, it's a working farm uh, and uh, lots of um, lots of opportunity to go out mm -hmm. and you know walk the grounds and um, milk the cows. Milk the cows. Milk the goats. Uh, yeah. So uh, it's a yeah. It's a great. Um, it's really a great uh, atmosphere. Uh, and, a lot of local uh, stitchers plus beyond. Yeah. 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 How many do you think? Why do I want to say 125? You think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it could be. I said that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, There's like three really long tables. Uh, you know what yeah. people were talking about at Randy's on Saturday? That it is a super moon this weekend. Okay. And someone even thought that there might be uh, the Northern Lights again. Mm. And it is pitch black out there. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I am the person, whenever people say, like, oh, go out between 2 and 4 a.m. to see the, you know, once in a lifetime display. I don't. But... <laughs> I think I could maybe see something there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wake you up. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I think, um, I really think that I'll probably stitch a more on Halloween this way. Mm, yeah. But then after that. Yeah. I'm going to buckle down. And <laughs> have you heard this before? <laughs> and work on boss me. <laughs> I got to get a few more. I got to get a few more of these done anyway. Yeah, I should too. Yeah, I got a lot of. Uh, well, I got a lot of blank spaces. I've already clinched one of November's a long time ago. Okay. Five days on a gift project. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean that country cottage. I was like finished with that thing months ago. <laughs> exactly. Um, five days on a Maddie project. Yeah. Have not not achieved that yet. So mm. that might be a good one for me. I've got yeah. some some candidates in there. Yep. But I really want to finish that on. Well, if you ever finish say. calling birds or uh, French hens, you'd, you had to you'd bring be that done. Up, didn't you? <laughs> you'd be done. <laughs> well, this is my board, so you know. I mean, come on. I don't have. I have a lot of white space in there, so I highlight when they're done, and there's a lot of white there. I still haven't done stuff from July, so. But I think yeah, I've got uh, kind of a mixed bag. But. Yeah. I've started. It always provides good started. inspiration. To yes, me. absolutely. You know? yeah. 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 So uh, I, I, I'm going to get a bunch more done by the end oh, of the yeah. year. Yeah. Because now know. we know all. We know what they all you are. You know, the problem is there's such. Well, I don't mean there's such competition in that it's cutthroat. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you've got Missy. Yeah. You've got Kathy. Yeah. You've got 
dim. Mm -hmm. You've got people that like you stitch. Know. Yeah. <laughs> they sit down and stitch. <laughs> they actually finish things. Yes. Lots of things. <laughs> right. Yes, I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. But you're right, it is good inspiration. Yeah, it is. It's so. fun. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think that, That's... um, yeah, I think that'll do it. Yeah. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I think we've talked about everything. All right, we covered all the bases. Yeah. All right. So, so unless we really get motivated, we might film at the farm. We could. Yeah. 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 We'll see how it goes. I'm not saying I'd have a lot to show. No, but... <laughs> I will have nothing to show. <laughs> I would talk to you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. have some friends with us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am going to put in some pictures and a video of um, the threaded needle and oh, grafting. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in um, seeing that shop, um, please stay tuned. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I think uh, if we don't film at the farm, we'll see you. Before you know, Thanksgiving. See. Yeah, before Thanksgiving. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. In a couple of weeks. All right. All right. So until then, take care. Take, take care. care. Bye. Happy stitching.